Hey YouTube, Steve here from Vegas Westside Shooters. Sorry it's been a little while since Luke and I have made a video. Uh, we haven't had any any new firearms to to bring you or any new reviews, so we haven't we didn't want to make a video for that that didn't really have anything to share. But today we're very excited to bring you a video on our latest purchase. This is a, a firearm we've been we've been seeking out and had a lot of trouble finding this locally. Uh, but today I walked into Northwest Arms where I bought uh, probably at least half of my uh, firearms and they, they happen to have one in stock. So uh, today we're going to bring you a review on the Sig Sauer P320X5. So this comes with the, uh, comes with basically uh, extra these are these are uh, fiber optic rods for the for the front sight. So a, a red and a green extra fiber optic rod from Dawson Precision comes with the P320 manual because the P320 uh, actually this is the <coughs> the X series manual. It comes with the firearm of course, and it comes with four magazines which is pretty sweet so you don't have to buy extra magazines of course it comes with uh, the requisite trigger lock uh, for people who live in in california but uh, we don't use those so i'm going to unwrap this here it is fresh out of the factory the sig p320 x5 it's basically the very similar to the p320 but it's on the the x5 competition frame uh, and some of the some of the features you can see right off the bat, it has this beveled uh, flared magazine well, which is really nicely beveled, and and you can remove this. There's a there's like a set screw here, uh, which let's see here, let's see if I can make this so you can see it here. There, there we go. So there's a there's a set screw you can see right there. If you remove that set screw, you can remove the flared magazine well if you don't want it. Uh, the slide is it's skeletonized and you can see that there uh, it does come with a green fiber optic front sight and a uh, adjustable for both elevation and windage competition rear sight uh, so those are those are just some of the features it does have the the straight trigger uh, and I'm gonna once I get this cleaned up I'm gonna do a trigger pull test so let me get this, uh, I'm going to get it cleaned and lubricated, and uh, then uh, we'll do a trigger test. So stick with me. All right, <clears throat> thanks for sticking around. I got it uh, taken apart, cleaned, lubricated, and put back together. And I have tested the trigger pull a couple of times. Uh, let's see here, let's do a safety check, even though I just cleaned it. So the last... I checked it, I got a uh, 5 pounds and 11 ounces, and then the last one I did was 4 pounds and 11 ounces. Let's try it one more time here on camera. So that's 5 pounds, 10 ounces. So it's, it's running between 4.5 and 5.5 and and pounds. Uh, it is the flat trigger, which I, I really enjoy. And I'll show you that. You can see here, it's a pretty short uptake. See that? About one or two millimeters. And a pretty crisp break for a striker fired gun. And then here's the reset. So a little bit of a long reset. Maybe a half a centimeter. And then it's ready to go again. Overall I'm gonna say it's a, it's a really nice crisp trigger pull uh, that I'm, I'm pretty happy with. And then the magazines that it comes with they have a they have a base plate extender and these are 21 round magazines which is pretty awesome the beveled <coughs> and uh, flared magwell make stuffing them in there a, a no-brainer and you can see here they drop free no problem I mean, if, if you can't do speed reloads with this thing uh, you need to do a lot more practicing so there you have it the p320 x5 uh, and uh, Luke and I are going to take this bad boy out to the range and uh, give it a go. So hope you stick with us. Alright, here's Luke shooting the first shots with the new SIG P320 X5. Range is hot.
So, how how do you like that trigger? I crisp, smooth, easy. Uh huh. I think I'm, it's fantastic. How about the sight system? You like the sight system? I do. Yeah, it's really easy to to see it. Yeah, the only, only thing I noticed is you know with Luke's grip, he tends to ride his thumb on the on the slide lock, and that's why he doesn't get slide lock on an empty magazine. All right, why don't you load up and do another magazine? Let's see how it goes. Hi, by the way, how do you like that flared magwell? It's pretty, pretty nice. Pretty smooth reloads, right? Definitely. All right. Well, that one uh, looks like you kept your thumb off the slide lock. Yeah. All right, I'm up next. Okay, range is hot. Man, even an idiot can reload this thing. Look out IDPA. All right, now we've, we've adjusted the sights a little bit. These have competition adjustable sights. The rear sight's adjustable for windage and elevation. So we've elevate, adjusted the elevation a little bit and the windage a little bit. So Luke's gonna do another couple magazine dumps on this deal. Range is hot. See you've cured yourself of that <coughs> riding the slide lock habit. A little bit. Nice. All right, pretty nice. We've what? Just put it 60. Just put about 60 rounds through it without a single problem. No stoppages. No. No failures to go into battery or failures to fire. Look, this is typical SIG, SIG quality. What do you think? You gonna you gonna use this for IDPA competition? I'm thinking about it. Uh, well, this is it. this is definitely my new IDPA gun. So uh, I can tell you right now, even though this is just our first first impressions of this gun, this gun is a winner. And uh, as usual, SIG SIG just doesn't make any bad products. All right. Thanks for watching our video. Steve and Luke, Vegas Westside Shooters. Catch you around the range.